what's going on youtube this is marcus and i am back with another video happy thursday happy thursday um i hope everybody is doing well i hope everybody has had a great week thus far i don't have anything in particular to talk about but i did want to come on here just real quick to have a quick chat session one thing i do want to ask y'all what is it that you guys would like to see on my channel um as you guys know obviously know i'm not doing reviews right now um i mean it's not i to be honest i really haven't been watching tv like that most of the times i'm usually watching youtube or either watching netflix um and i'm subscribed to so many people and a lot of them put out multiple videos and I like to be able to support their content. So a lot of time, honestly, I don't really don't have time to watch TV like that. Even sometimes when I'm working, sometimes I have my, my headphones in and I'm either listening to, well, if it's something that I have to watch, you know, like a vlog or something like that, I usually watch those at home. But if it's something that I can just listen to, then I'll, I have to, you know, listen to it at work. Or sometimes I have it playing through the speaker in my car. Ooh, what they got going on over here? Somebody must have just died. I live right across the street from uh, Pastor Shirley Caesar's church and it looked like somebody had a fume. Anyway, so what is it that y'all would like to see? Um, I, I was supposed to have been reviewing American Horror Story, but I don't know. I just, it to me, it, I don't feel like it was worth my energy. Now, I have been watching the show. The show is, is not, this season is not bad, but when you compare it to some of the other seasons like Coven, Apocalypse, um, those seasons, this season isn't really it's kind of blah um so yeah like i said what would you guys like to see on my channel or if there's certain some certain topics um or things that you know you would like for me to discuss you can leave it in the comment section i actually kind of want to get into doing like reaction videos um i think that that's something that would be interesting um but anyway So COVID, COVID has hit home. Um, my brother um, got he con contracted COVID. I think I want to say at the at the end of last week, um, while he was away at college, um, his roommate ended up contracting COVID, and he ended up getting it. So he's at home now, um, quarantined at home. So we've just been being careful. Um, you know making sure we wipe down because he and i share the same bathroom so of course you know making sure that things are wiped down or sprayed down um you know in between the usage of us having to use the bathroom um for the most part he's you know of course quarantines in his room some every now and then he does come outside and goes to his car you know just to get some fresh air um, but other than that, he's been, well, we've all kind of pretty much somewhat quarantining, but especially him since he's contracted COVID. Um, you know, my mom is the one that kind of, you know, whenever he needs something or whenever, you know, she cooks, she's usually the one to bring his food to him. Um, you know, she has told my dad to try to keep his distance because my dad hasn't got vaccinated. He's one of them ones, you know, like that say, you know, I don't know what they put in that vaccine. So, um, you know, maybe, you know, maybe in, eventually he'll change his mind. But everybody else, well, then my brother, he's not vaccinated either. But everybody else, me, my mom, and my dad's mom, my grandma, she has, she, stay, she lives with us now. She's vaccinated. Um, and so, and because of that, you know, and so we've also been kind of staying away from church also. Because god forbid if one of us were to have it and not know it because you know some people are asymptomatic we wouldn't want to take it to church and pass the germs you know pass those germs to anybody else so we've been uh, well i haven't really been going to church like that anyway because i've been working on sundays and then to be honest a lot of times when i get off on wednesdays i'll be tired and i know that's not an excuse but i'll be i'll be and i'll be i'll be dog tired um so anyway so just a quick update so with that being said y'all keep keep him in prayer keep my family in prayer um 
they I'm confused. Now the school told him he can come back after a week. Um and if he tests negative then he's able to stay. But I'm confused because I thought that the COVID was you, you have it for up you it's up to two weeks. So I was confused at why they told him he can come back in one week. And and not only that, but why he got to come to the school to get a test because I'm like, what if he goes to the school to get tested and it's negative and he because his school is like an hour and a half away from us. So you gotta drive down there, take a test, and then if it come come back negative, then you gotta turn around and drive back home. Because I'm like, he can just get a test up here and get the results and then just take it with him. But anyway. But at the same time, they might be trying to hurry up and get him get him back to school because he's one of the star players on his team because he actually uh, plays football in college. Um, and he's one of the star players on the team, so that might be why they you know trying to hurry up and get him back. But with that being said, just a quick update for those of y'all who know y'all know I posted the two videos talking about how I dropped my wallet at work and somebody picked it up and they went and spent my money. So. Friday morning, I got had, woke up to some tech me, text messages on my phone of some deposits, and I, that was when I noticed that they had was able to credit me the money that I had called in to make the dispute about. And so I was happy about that. Now the only issue was at that particular time I still hadn't received my bank cards in the mail. Now when I called the bank, I think it was like the day before or two days prior and I was talking to the lady and explaining her about, you know, I lost my wallet so I didn't have no bank cards, I didn't have an ID, I didn't have a social security card. So I'm like, so if I want to, you know, make a come in, come in the bank and make a withdrawal, how would I do that? And so she went on this whole thing about, oh, well, asking me if I had a copy of my bank statement. So I, I told her, yeah, but to be honest, I don't think I do because... Um, I think usually when they send me my bank statements, I usually just throw, uh, rip, rip them up and throw them away because I'm like, I can just, you know, view my account and stuff online. I actually need to see if there's an option for, um, like, e-statements because I'm, you know, that's the waste of paper for y'all. And so then she was asking me, you know, if I had, like, copies of some mail. And she was like, well, you can bring that in. Um, but she was like, they still may ask you for something with your picture on it. But I'm like, even if I come in there with a bank statement or a piece of mail, that still don't prove that I am who I say I am. Because I was thinking, well, maybe if I come in there and, and they ask me for my social, maybe I could give them either my social security number or they can ask me the security questions that's linked to my account. Would that have worked? But, you know, I just was like, I ain't going to worry about it. My main concern was making sure, making sure I had gas. Um to get back and forth to work um but thankfully i had got a text from my mom later on that day and she was like your bank cards came in the mail um and then that next day i ended up getting my driver's license in the mail and then i think and then this past monday i ended up getting my social security card in the mail and then i ended up having to go and get me another wallet i just went and bought me a, a little real simple wallet i had said i was going to get one of those wallets that you, that, uh, that come with a chain that you can attach to your belt loop um and maybe if i had had one of them type of wallets the first time i wouldn't i wouldn't have lost my wallet but anyway i'm just i'm just so thankful because i was sitting here like you know for the most part a lot of the things that I had to take care of financially, I had taken care of them. But at the same time, 400 and some odd dollars, that was a lot of money. Like, I, I ain't got money like that to just be, you know, losing. I mean, I thank God that I, you know, because there was a time, I can't remember the last time I had $400 just floating around in my account. And it wasn't, you know, and it wasn't from an income tax or, or, or a stimulus check. Like, this was, you know, from my paycheck. So, you know, I was looking at it like, you know, at least I, you know, at least I, I don't, I, that's probably a weird way to look at it. Like, at least I had the money to steal. But at the same time, like I said, I can't remember the last time I had extra money like that just floating around in my account. But yeah, thankfully they was able to do, you know, to give me the money back because I was kind of concerned because from a legal standpoint or from the bank's viewpoint, they might have looked at it as maybe I just spent this money and didn't want to, and you know, and 
it, it looked fishy because the time from the time that that I called and reported my car stolen, the money had was spent like earlier that day, so it it it, it looked fishy. Um, and even though I had prayed and you know told and was had prayed to God, some something in the back of my mind, it's, I still had that what if, and I know you know that's not the best the best uh way to think but at the same time we human um but yeah god turned that situation around that's why when i put that status up and was like god will vindicate you now i'm still feeling some type of way because i feel like like i said in the other video i feel like i know who it was but unfortunately i don't have proof because like i said where my car was parked at the camera doesn't really pick up that clear And then I know people were saying, well, <clears throat> since you have it on, you know, where where the money was spent, you can just go. But I'm like, that's a lot of places to be going, you know, because it was, like I said, the money was spent in like six different places. And a lot of them places, even if they were to go and check, like, for, for example, he went to the Walmart. I'm like, at Walmart, you got a bunch of people in there at the same time. So it wouldn't have been no way to be able to pinpoint exactly who it was now if i was there looking at the footage and i seen the person i might would have been like oh, oh they oh there they are if the person that i feel like took it actually took it but just to be looking at the looking at the camera you would be able to pinpoint exactly who it was if you got if you got five people checking out at the same time like you wouldn't be able to look and see exactly who it was but anyway I just honestly I didn't feel like going through all that. My main concern was getting my money back. I was I was okay with having to get new bank cards and get a new a new license and a new social security card. My main concern was getting my money back. Um I kind and, and it's funny because like I said, I kind of feel like I know who did it, and I kind of feel like that the person that did it, I kind of feel like they they feel like I know that they feel that I know. It's like ever since that when my wallet got taken that per like his it, that person's energy is different like they always be like every time i see them because they come in there like every day to my job and it's like they always be like watching me or they be looking at me funny like they be thinking i want to do he know and i still i don't treat them no different now you know when he comes in and you know or because he always orders on his phone i still serve him and you know treat give him customer service and all that stuff i don't treat them no different but I'm like, dog, you could have just gave... I had cash in my wallet. You could have gave me my wallet back and I could have... I, I mean, because to be honest, if I had lost... Like, if somebody had... If they had returned the wallet, I, honestly, I would have gave them the money that was in my wallet. The cash that was in my wallet. But anyway. So, yeah. That was solved. So, with that being said, I'm on my way to work right now. And I'm tired. I'm working six days this week. I worked six days last. Week. I'm still trying to figure out how I got how they got me scheduled working six days. I agreed to work six days last week because they said they were probably gonna need the extra help because the state fair was in town last week. And so, you know, they figured they was probably gonna need because sometimes well last year the fair was closed, I think, but the year before last it kind of got busy. Um, you know, around the fair time. So I agreed to work six days last week. Now this week, I'm working more days in the afternoon because the guy that usually works in works afternoon shift, he's on vacation. Now they still don't explain how I got stuck working six days. Cause they honestly, there's enough managers where somebody else could have covered one of his other days so I could have still only had to work five days but it's cool I'm tired but my check is going to be real nice real nice and then especially you know I got the raise my raise well it's been a while like a month ago I, I think I got that raise so my check is going to be it's going to be nice nice <sighs> but i'm ready to get these three days over i have to close the next three days i do not like working clothes it's for one it's too slow 
And two, after around about four o'clock, five o'clock, I be ready. I be wanting to be at home. Like I don't want to be at, at McDonald's at work. But I'm actually in the process of looking for another job. Cause one of the things that I'm 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 concerned about. We don't. The only day that we close is on Christmas. We're open for Thanksgiving, and usually, for the for the past six years that I've been there, whenever Thanksgiving came around, I was usually either off on Thanksgiving or I worked morning shift on Thanksgiving. But for the past couple of months, I've been working second shift on Thursdays, and Thanksgiving is on the Thursday. So I got a feeling I'm probably end up having to work Thanksgiving, which I. I don't understand why we open on Thanksgiving anyway, because people don't be coming to McDonald's on Thanksgiving. Now, people might come through there, like, for breakfast time, you know, people traveling, they want to come get them some breakfast, or, you know, maybe somebody is cooking and they don't want to, you know, have to cook breakfast, they might swing by there and get, you know, get some breakfast. Or even early lunchtime, like 12, 1 o'clock, because most places, you know, most times people have Thanksgiving, they, I guess they eat around, like, maybe two or three o'clock so somebody might stop by there around 12 one o'clock get them a little sandwich or something to hold them over to the, to the food get finished but after about two o'clock like we don't need to be open like i don't understand like y'all y'all don't need money that bad because chick-fil-a close well i don't what well, yeah chick-fil-a i think they only open for breakfast and then they close so i'm trying to figure out like y'all don't need the money that bad that y'all can't just open for breakfast and then close for 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 the rest of the day. But anyway, so now they talking. I don't think I told y'all that my at my job we don't we're not twenty four hours anymore. Uh, well, cause we ain't got no help. Cause originally they closed down twenty four hours. Sunday through Thursday. We was only 24 hours on Friday and Saturday since those are the busiest nights. But then they ended up closing down completely because we didn't have no help. Um, for a successful overnight shift, you need at least four, four crew members plus the manager. When a lot of times it would just be me and another, and another crew person. And I mean, we be, you know, we do it, but that's a lot of work for two people. Um, so they shut down because we didn't find no help. And from what I, and as far as I know, they haven't, hadn't been looking for no help. So now my supervisor comes to me Tuesday and was like November, whatever that second Friday is in November, he wants us to go back to Friday and Saturday overnight. I'm cool with that. Because I'd rather be off on Sundays anyway so I can start back going to church. So we, so Friday and Saturday overnight. I think he said December, whatever that second Friday, whatever that second week in December is, he wants to go back to seven days. I'm cool with that. My question is, do y'all have another manager? Because I'm not doing straight overnight. I'm okay with doing Friday and Saturday. But y'all need to find somebody that can work Sunday through Thursday. I mean, yes, Sunday through Thursday, because I'm not doing it. Not only, and then, and then I said, then not only that, y'all need to be looking for staff, because as of right now we only got one person that works overnight well we actually had another person that work overnight but since we've been closed they put him on second shift and honestly i don't think he's gonna I, he he might not want to go back to overnight and and that's not something that you can force on him either And really, the only reason I'm okay, the only reason I, I'm, I'm okay with working Friday and Saturday night is because I get I work in the kitchen, and I don't really have to deal with the customers like that. But I'm like, y'all need to be looking for managers and looking for crew. You ain't got but one crew person and a possible. They can't do that with just them. And not only, not only do you need to be looking for people, but they need to be trained. 
Like, don't just hire somebody and just throw them on overnight and they don't know what, and they ain't got no experience, they don't know what they're doing because overnight, you kind of got to fend for, your, fend for yourself. You can't, overnight is not, you know, one of them places where, some, where somebody got to babysit you the whole time you work. Now, and I think, you know, because we, we just, honestly, sometimes we don't have the time and we've had people that they've hired, but they end up quitting. And I think it's because of the fact that, you know, a lot of times they be working and don't really know what they're doing. And I don't know, maybe they feel like the people don't want to help, which is not the case. But if I'm trying, if I got to do my job, I ain't got time to be babysitting you to make sure, you know, to make sure that you're doing. That's why I say if you're going to hire somebody to work overnight, let them work at least one week during the day. Let them get trained. Let them get acclimated. Then you put them on overnight. Like I know my, my GM told me they hired somebody for work Friday and Saturday. They hired, she had interviewed him Wednesday. Now my question is, is he gonna start now or y'all or is he gonna wait until we open up overnight and then y'all bring him in? <sighs> but yeah, like I said, it's just I'm looking for another job. I really my desire is to have a Monday through Friday job. I really want to work in an office. But my desire is to have a Monday through Friday job. And then I'm also concerned about how they're going to do about my vacation because now they're saying that people can't take off during the holidays. Because I used to take my vacation in January because that's when my church has their annual convention. But they might try, but I think, but I've been putting money to the side anyway because even if they decide they're not going to want to, if, if they decide they don't want to give me my vacation for that week, I'm still taking off. But at the same time, I don't want to be, you know, my money to be funny because I took that week off and they, and they don't want to pay me for it. So I've been putting money to the side to help make up that, with that lack just in case and not only that but I, I one of the things that I've made up my mind this year I want to be able to sew this year every year that we've had the convention whenever they ask for like seed offerings and stuff like that I never have the extra money to be able to sew and I don't like not having the money so I want to be able to sew this year so I've been put also putting money to the side for that also I got to find me something to wear because last year, I honestly didn't have nothing to wear because since I've been working on the hospitality team, like the ushers and the greeters team, I don't wear shirts and ties because a lot of times, you know, we have to like clean the church after service and stuff like that. And so I'm, I'm not about to be in there vacuuming and cleaning the bathrooms and stuff with a, with a suit on. And then, and then especially now that I do a lot of well, not now, but, you know, I was doing a lot of work with the children's church, so I, you know, wasn't dressing up then. And so when we had our convention last year, I just had on, like, my regular everyday clothes. And so um, we had got a, I had a group, had got a group message from the head of our department, and she was saying that Pastor wanted us to dress, like, wear, like, quote-unquote, convocation wear. So he wanted us to be dressed up. And I was just like, well, I'll see what I can find. Because, like I said, I didn't have anything dressy to wear. My dad wears suits, but I can't fit none of, that, none of his stuff. So, I also want to look into, you know, that as well. So, I'll have something to wear. Well, I don't know about wearing a suit. But, at least shirts and ties. Now, I'm okay with wearing, like, the shirts and ties. And then, like, you know how some suits come with the vest? I'm okay with wearing that, but I don't know about wearing the actual suit. Maybe for that Sunday, I might wear a suit and then maybe just wear a shirt and tie the rest of it. I don't know. I have to so I look on Amazon and see what I can find. But yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm looking for I wish that I had applied for a job last year. Last, I think it was like in the summertime, I had applied for this position. It was a data entry position. And you know went for the interview the interview went well and so she called me back she had called me and was asking me after the interview actually she called me and was telling me how you know how good the interview was and yada 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 so she had asked me i guess it was some questions that i guess she had forgot to ask me in the interview 
She asked me those questions, it was fine. So then she ended up, I think, like emailing me. Um, I forgot what we talked about, but I had told her to email me if she needed to get in contact with me because I was having issues with my phone because for some reason my charger wouldn't connect to my phone, so my phone was dead. Um, and so one day out of, out of the blue, my phone just up and started charging because I never took it off the charger once I, when I plugged it in that last time it didn't work, I kind of just let the phone just sit there. So one day out of the blue, the phone started charging. And so when the phone charged, I cut the phone on and seen in my email where she did text me and email me. But it had been like two or three days since the email and I did write it back and say, hey, I, I'm apologize, yada, yada, yada. Um, now I don't know why it didn't never dawn on me to go on my computer and check my email knowing I had told the lady to email me. But anyway, um, but yeah. And that was an opportunity that was missed and the money was good at the time because what that, what, I hope they're not sitting in this line for the school. Because what the job was paying was a lot better than what I'm making now. Something told me not to come this way. I mean, it was a lot better than what I make what I was making at the time I interviewed. Now, what I'm making now is the same as what they was offering at that job. Um, but yeah, that was a miss. But then in retrospect, when I think about it, last year I had issues with my car, my the car I had before this one. And that place is a little far out. So during that time when my car was messed up, I don't know how I would have been able to get to work because that place was outside the limits of the city transportation. So I would have been having to catch Ubers back and forth for a whole, for a week. So I don't know. But yeah, now, now I feel like I'm just rambling. But yeah, y'all, looking for another job. Like I said, I really want to work in the office. I'm kind of tired of customer service. And I think that's why, you know, now it's like now I'm at the point. I'm why I be so why I'm, why I be so frustrated. When I come to work. Especially when I had to work in the afternoons, I just have a point where it just kind of like I'm just here. Like I, I have my attitude is really much. I don't care when it comes to certain things. I mean, and for a while, money was the issue, but I'm making more money now. Making you know, making pretty good money, but. You know, money only. Well, it's only. You know, money only is gonna, it's only gonna take you, but so far. I wish. I, in retrospect, I should have went in. A, I should have went for that interview because I had an interview with Amazon for the delivery uh, position, but I never scheduled the interview. Because if you hit me, you're going to be paying me some money. And I'm already at the, running the risk of getting pulled over for speeding. And you ride my bumper like that. I said, and in this area, the police don't be playing no games. But anyway, now I'm just on here. Anyway, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for listening. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I will talk to y'all later. Peace.